That's good, dude. Uh, go ahead, Ryan. I don't see anybody. So, yes, I mean, what do you think about just the way your team played? Obviously, a pretty dominant win, and, and also it's your first time playing in almost two weeks, or more than two uh, weeks. Yeah, so that's what scared me, not playing for two weeks and coming on the road to Oregon. That was a little terrifying. But um, I thought we played really well. I thought we controlled the game, especially the first couple minutes. Um, I thought we came out, we jumped on them kind of slow in the second quarter, but then I thought we had a really good third quarter. I thought it was a great team effort. And what do you think of the way Kate played? I mean, she was saying – she had a little uh, bulletin board material with her shooting, and she came out, hit those three threes. I mean, what did you just think about the way she played? Well, we knew coming into the game that, um, you know, Kate coming into the game had only hit three threes the whole year, but she's a good shooter. We work on it every day. So I wanted her to be confident. Her and Trinity, I said, hey, you're open for those threes, take them. If they want to sag in the paint and be so focused on Aerie, then you go spread them out and take those threes. I thought Kate did a really good job hitting threes, dominating. I thought Kate – and Trinity carried us the first half. And I thought Aerie did a really good job of putting them in good um, positions to score. I thought it was just a really, really good team effort. And think about it, this wasn't Aerie's best game. Every time Aerie drove, they were hitting her, they were physical with her, they were congesting the paint. But then other people did a good job of executing and stepping up. And, and that's what we need going down the stretch. And what do you think? What, I mean, how important is it to win a game like this on ESPN, just like you did the last time? I think it's really important because this is a big time stage um, to win in the manner that we did. I thought, um, you know, made up some mistakes early, but I think to stick with it, Oregon's a really good team. And um, I think we really took them out of their rhythm. So I'm, I'm proud of the way we played. I mean, to come to Oregon and shoot 51% um, from the field and 60% from the three, I think it's just is a really good win. I think we, we did a good job today. Troy? You talked a little bit about three-point shooting there, 60%. It seemed like all the threes were in rhythm. They weren't rushed. Uh, there wasn't a lot, you know, going down to the wire. Uh, what did you th think about the shots they took from deep? I thought they were really good shots. I thought they were shots that were given. Um, it's consistently people have not been guarding us from the three. They haven't been guarding our posts. Our posts are good three-point shooters. So now um, it takes one game to get that confidence, go shoot them. I thought Kate did a tremendous job. Inside now, I thought Trinity hit some good threes. I thought um, they made it really hard and put a lot of bodies at Aerie. I think a lot of those threes she normally hits. Aerie's been shooting the three really well. Um, I thought Sam was aggressive. Um, Sam was three for five. I thought Sam had a phenomenal game. I always say I think Sam is the most underrated defensive player in the country. Um, there was an ESPN list or some list that just came out, and I don't know how Sam's not on it. Um, the way she blocks shots, the way she cancels the person she's matched up again, it's phenomenal. Um, her and Aerie, I, I, mean, I wouldn't want to face that backcourt. Um, but I thought just this was an overall really, really good team effort. When we subbed in on the bench, I thought people really stepped up. I thought it was a, this was just a, a good win for us, a good team win. 17 assists on 30 field goals. I, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with how we played. And then during that first half, you guys allowed 24 points in the paint. Uh, yeah. Oregon ended with only 38, so only 14 points in the paint in the second half. Seems like there is a big adjustment there. Yeah, that's still a lot. I wasn't happy with one thing, because at one point in the beginning of the game, 18 of their 19 points, there was one free throw, 18 points were in the paint. We were getting our butts kicked in the paint. So was not happy with that. Um, thought we had to do a little bit better job of denying the reversal so they can't go high-low, because they're a lot bigger than us. Once the donut gets it and turns into a fadeaway jumper, like we're toast because we can't, we don't have a 6'7 player. So I thought um, her and Sabali, Sabali was kind of muscling us, backing us down, scoring. We had our hands for first half, but then on our end, Kate and Trinity were carrying us in the first half. Um, and, and Aerie did a good job of finding them, calling offense to get the ball inside when they were hot. So I think this was a selfless win. I think this was a win that we need. We haven't played in two and a half weeks. We're on pause and then to like have our game canceled. So psychologically, I think that's hard for a team. So for us to bounce back, be on the road for five days in Oregon, and play one game, I thought it was great concentration and even a more important win because of the circumstances. Allie? How hard is it to blow Oregon out two, two times this season or even just a Pac-12 opponent in general? I mean, really, I mean, they're a top 10 team in the country. I think they're ranked 11, but I think they're better than 11. Um, I think it's very hard. Oregon plays really good at home. Um, I, I've never even won here. Um, so the first time winning here, I think um, they shoot the ball better at home uh, today. I, they didn't, but typically they shoot the ball better at home. I thought their defense was a lot better. We, we had a tougher time turning them over this game. Um, and they, they just dominate at home. 
So I think for us, um, coming on the road and, and beating them here, was it's a good win for us. Um, we knew it wasn't going to be easy, um, but I think that we came out and played. I think we punched first and we took some punches in the second quarter. Um, but then we bounced back and had a really strong third quarter. So we were able to go into the bench later and um, rest some people. And, and for us, you know, normally we don't win a game if, if Trinity's playing 30, if, you know, Aries playing 28, like we usually can't win a game in that case. So I like the fact that other people stepped up um, and, and showed up big. I thought Kate had a huge game. I thought Trinity had a big game defensively, offensively. I thought our bench came in and gave us good minutes for us to come out, rebound them, hold them to 20% from the three when they have multiple 39 plus three point shooters on the perimeter and told them to 32% from field goal. And for us to come in here and shoot 51% better and 10 points above our hours, I think it's, it's a good road win. Uh, and then Kate and, and Sam seem really relaxed and upbeat. You know, when we were talking to them, they just seemed really comfortable. Uh, did having this time off, I know nobody wants to have these post moments, but it just, did it allow you guys to just take a breather from, from the season? Cause it's been chaotic. Yeah, but the, I don't like a two and a half week breather. I, that was too long. Um, so I was really worried at how we were going to respond. That's a long time during a season to not play a game. And so I think I'm um, then to not have a ton of practices in those two weeks. I mean, I was, I was on pause for seven days. I was contact trace for seven days. So to be out and then to still respond the way we did, it's more, I'm more impressed with how our team handled it. And that shows our leadership from Ari and Sam to be able to do that. And I thought when you look at Kate, Kate to perform 11 for 14, three for three from the three, coming into the game, she had three threes. So now she's, you know, six for nine. So um, I thought Kate, I mean, I, she dominated the game. Um, they had a really tough time guarding her inside and out. So I'm, I'm just proud of the way she played. And for us to have four players in double digits, that's remarkable for us. We'll win a lot of games if we can do that. So I'm proud of our performance. I, th I think we played a good game. Right. In a strange way, did you feel any pressure on to keep everybody occupied and engaged for four days? I did a little bit, um, you know, I, I felt I felt really bad because I don't know if you guys know the story, but we were on the plane um, to, going to Corvallis and then right before we were landing, we kind of, you know, you check your phone and we were seeing all the releases about not playing. We had no idea. So it was hard on the road. We're in Corvallis for a couple of days till Saturday, no game in practice. I think that was hard. And then um, to come here to Eugene, it's just a long time on the road. If we would have heard that, if we would have heard before we got on the plane, we could have stayed home until Sunday. So yes, hard keeping them engaged because remember, we can't do anything. So on the road, we're not going out to dinner. You know, we're going practice hotel. We're not going on walks. So it's, it's pretty boring on the road. But I think our team is appreciative that we're playing. The Pac-12 has done a re remarkable job of keeping us, you know, and keep our conference going. Um, and I think our, our players have handled it well. It's not easy. It's not easy. It was a little boring. We're not used to all the gray weather and all the rain. <laughs> so it definitely changed the scenery. But um, it's, it's a long road trip. So to keep that focus, be able to come here and win in the manner we did on ESPN for the second time, I'm proud of our players. Because these are those big stage games that kind of show you where you're at, tell you a lot about your team. And then, um, you know, we're getting better. We're getting better in the right time. So I'm, I'm proud of us. Oregon's a very good team. PJ? Yeah, it seems like um, you guys took a big step on in your offense. In there was a lot of ball movement. You weren't; they were patient. A lot of times, it, you know, up to this point, sometimes they would rush things. You were always talking about they needed to be more patient, and it seemed like um, a lot of players were just, you know, it comes through airy, obviously first, but but. Th that was seemed really kind of locked down. Did you did you see that that improvement? And and what do you think about that? Yeah, well, we had to work a lot on our offense. What I wasn't happy about, I wasn't happy with our defense. I thought our defense was very soft in the first quarter. I thought um, the way we were playing the on balls was not good. They were picking us apart. So credit to them, they were doing a good job of moving the ball, but we weren't aggressive on the ball. But then I think our adjustment, we handled it really well. Um, we went to something. So it tells me that my team can adjust and, and go to different fashion because we did, we did something we don't normally do a lot. We practice it, but we're better at the first way we start our on-ball defense. So I think making the adjustment, going to our plugs and uh, being a little bit more passive, I think it changed the rhythm. And I thought we did pretty well. Still have to work on a few things, but I wasn't impressed at how we started the game. 
And usually our intensity, our aggressiveness is better from the get-go. So I didn't like that. I liked our offense. I didn't like our defense at that point. But I thought third quarter was big. I thought we adjusted well. Um, we made some small tweaks, and they were able to apply them in the game. But um, I was more – we were working a lot on offense. We've been working a lot on sharing the ball. And I was able to see that carry over in the game today, which I'm happy about because our offense had to get better. 17 assists is good for us sharing the ball. Aerie did a tremendous job of running her team. She knew Kay was hot. She was running stuff to get the ball to Kate. Um, she knew Trinity had mismatches running it there, posting up Sam. I thought did a really good job of balancing. I thought Shayna came in, ran the one, let, enabled Aerie to go the two, and still continues to run the right offenses. So it's showing me that we're growing as a team. And we had to. We had to improve our offense still when games down the stretch. Troy? So coming into the game, if somebody was to tell you that Oregon would only turn the ball over six times, yeah. uh, do you think that the game would be this far of a differential? No, not at all. I, I would not have thought that. But then if you look and if I, we hold them to 20% from the three, with the way they shoot to three, I mean, all their starters are above 40%. So from the one, two, and three, you know, there's high 30s, low 40s. So um, I would not have thought that because we turned them over a lot in the first game. So for us to only force eight turnovers, and that's kind of 11. We, I don't know why we had 11 turnovers. But, um, but then defensively, I thought every three was contested. I thought they were intentionally trying to drive it downhill, drive a baseline, isolate us. I thought we defended it pretty well. Gave up a couple rejected screens and baseline drives, but I thought overall our rotation was good. Um, I think we've gotten better in the last two and a half weeks, which is surprising it, when we were off sometime. And then it seemed like Helena uh, really got her hands in the passing lanes, was uh, locked in defensively there in the first half. Helena had a great game off the bench. I think she passed up three or four shots that I, I want her to make, but six rebounds, um, four assists, no turnovers, one block, got her hands on a lot of balls. I think ran, ran our offense, made some beautiful passes to Kate. Kate actually missed one of them. She would have had five assists. I think Helena, when Helena's playing well, we play well. Um, when Sam's shooting the ball well and aggressive, we're good. Um, I, thought, I thought this was just a really, really good team effort. And then lastly, I was wondering if there was an injury update on Bindu Yaney. It seemed like she hurt herself there. Uh, did you not put her in because you guys were up so far in the game or she just couldn't go? Well, I didn't put her. She was available. I didn't put her in because she kind of tweaked her shoulder a little bit, but she's fine. Like she'll be like, I'll give her tomorrow to rest, but she'll be available for Friday. It's nothing bad. It's just kind of hurt. Um, it's like a stinger to her shoulder. So um, a Bindu is a very important piece of what we do. Um, she's a lockdown defender. She gives us energy. Uh, we need her and we got a big we got a big week this week we play you know against washington state at home on friday this is a short turnaround because it's monday we don't usually play on monday nights so um we need her but she'll be ready to go on friday right yeah i was just going to ask you about this week because you go from playing no games in more than two weeks now you have three this week i mean what, what do you kind of think of the the challenge of that well i think there's no challenge because the players want to play so i think i think right now at this point with the situation right now globally i think for us, any game, we're appreciative of. Um, when we and we want to just play, like we we're peaking at the right time, so we want to just play games. So if you even told us we got to play tomorrow and we got to play again, um, we wanted to play Washington again on Monday or Tuesday, but can't figure out to make that work. So just want to play. I don't think it matters. We go back, get some rest tomorrow, um, quick turnaround. But I think it's exciting. I, you know, I think we feel like we didn't play our best at Washington State in the second half. So I think it's going to be a big game. Washington State's a very good team, playing really well. Great win against UCLA. Um, so it's, it's going to be a tough weekend, but I, th I think we're feeling pretty good right now. Any other questions for Coach? Hey, thanks, you guys. Thanks, Stay safe. Buddy. All right, everyone. We got Kate and Sam here. So we'll open up a question with the raised hand. Go ahead, Troy. So how does it feel to end a 10-year losing streak against the Ducks on the road and get your guys' first win? in Oregon? I mean, I think it feels amazing. We were, we were talking about it earlier. Like this is our first time beating Oregon at home, like just in general beating them since Coach D has been here. And then this would, would have been our first time we beat them here. So I think it's just great that we're just, we keep raising the bar for ourselves. So I think we're all pretty excited about the win. And then do you feel like this is maybe one of the most physical games you guys have played all season long? Because it seemed every time Oregon uh, brought it to you guys. You guys answered in physicality for phys physicality out there on the court. 
Uh, I mean, I think this this or Colorado was probably one of our most physical games. But yeah, they were they were they were really physical with us. So um, I think it was great how we responded, and um, we really we had to make adjustments. They were kind of attacking us from the post, um, and our, when we played them at home, so we really kind of needed to adjust that. And I think we 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 did that. So. PJ. Yeah. Hi, uh, Sam and Kate. Um, Kate, you your game. Um, really came together today. You were the aggressive of all as of all was what was sort of going on that you knew that was it that the all the cameras were on that it was another ESPN game or what was it that it was your time? I mean, I just heard some stuff that they were saying about me. So um, that definitely kind of, I took that personal. And um, I mean, I was just, my teammates were finding me um, and I just read the defense. Um, so, I mean, I'm great that, that my teammates could pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> what were they saying about you, huh? They said I couldn't shoot. <laughs> okay, bulletin so board. That was bulletin board material for you, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And also at the same time, I mean, what was it just like to be back out on the court after such a long hiatus? <laughs> it felt amazing. <laughs> We've been waiting for a while. First, we were waiting at our home, just, you know, practicing and Mikhail doing what we can do. And then we're finally excited on the plane. We're going to go play Oregon State. And then we had to wait like another four days in our hotel room, just sitting there, like watching everybody else in the pack play. It was really tough, but we're so happy that we got to play today and on ESPN too. So that was just a great feeling. We were definitely tired of playing each other. So we were excited <laughs> to play a different team for one. Yes. So how much would you attribute that then to the start that you guys got off where it was eight nothing right, right out of the gate? I just think that we always bring it every practice. Um, we, we played a lot of five on five um, while we were in Oregon just to prepare for a game like situation. So I think that really helped us to um, get ready for the game and just stay in shape. And Kate, you only had made three threes all season. You made three tonight. I know you said like they were talking trash or whatever, but all right, can we expect to see more of this from you moving forward? And, and how much does that help the offense when you are making threes? I mean, I, if I'm open, I'll shoot it. Um, I think that it, it helped a lot just to kind of get them guarding the outside and around the perimeter so I could drive a little bit more. But um, I definitely think that if I'm open, I'll shoot it. Uh, my teammates have confidence in me to make those threes. Allie? Yeah, for, for both of you guys that can answer, I know nobody wants postponements or anything, but did it allow you guys at all to kind of step back and evaluate uh, what you need to improve just because you had a longer time off to be able to practice against each other? Uh, yeah, definitely. We worked on as much as we could. Obviously, getting up extra shots for one thing really helped us, as you showed tonight from Kate's performance. <laughs> and yours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, but no, it definitely helped. And then we were able to look back at some of the games where we either lost or we struggled in and kind of make those adjustments. We knew Oregon was going to make the adjustment with us because we do like to trap off our ball screen. So we knew they might've made an adjustment. So having that time off, we were able to kind of change the game plan a little bit, see what would work and what wouldn't have many options down the road to see if something doesn't work, we have something right next in line. And then Kate, for you, you played obviously more aggressive tonight. Uh, going back to like the beginning of the season when you were scoring, you had those two 20 point games. Uh, how were you able to just refocus your game this week during the break? I think that having the time off really allowed me to look at myself and see what I needed to work on. Um, I was doing a lot better in practice, um, just getting in the offense more myself, just being aggressive. And I think that really helped to transfer over into the game. Um, I hadn't been as aggressive in the past um, games that we've had. So I think that just having a couple time off just to work on myself really helped. EJ? Yeah, um, in that third quarter, you know, at halftime, you're up by one. Third quarter, you really start to pull away at some point. What um, what did you guys talk about during halftime that you, you know, you needed to make some adjustments to, to, to make your move? Um, we were pretty good with the way that we played during halftime. We just knew that I think out of their 31 points, I believe 26 of them came from inside the paint. So we really knew that we just needed to adjust a little bit to try and keep the, their two bigs out because they are very good. So it's kind of hard for us. But after the second half, we made that adjustment. We were able to make them kick it out, <coughs> have them shoot some threes. So I think that's just really kick-started our offense. Greg? Greg, you're muted. 
How did you guys kill the time for four days? <laughs> um, well, um, we really could just stay in our room. So um, my teammate and roommate, um, we, we stayed together in the room for five days. So we watched a lot of TV together, just mm -hmm. hung out. Um, Did lots of homework. Yeah, lots of homework from the team. So we finished Vampire Diaries. We already seen it, but we watched the last yeah. episode and we cried together. So that was fun. <laughs> I think what, that last night we did that. So I think it yeah. really helped with the, the team. Emotional yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy? Yeah, I uh, going back to the second half adjustments you guys seem to made, you guys were out rebounding Oregon for the game, 42 to 37. In the first half, it was pretty even. And then second half, it seemed like you guys were able to get the key rebounds, offense rebounds, second chance points. Can you just talk about that rebounding effort today? Uh, I mean, at halftime, um, they, the coaches just told us, you know, that we were kind of, we weren't being as aggressive. We weren't getting those 50-50 balls. I know I had grabbed two rebounds and they took them out of my hands. So they just said, we, we need to get those balls. We need to be stronger with the ball. So I think we did a better job of that. Although kind of at the end of the fourth quarter, we, we kind of gave up a little bit too many offensive rebounds. But um, I think overall, we did a great job of rebounding. We're normally not the ones that are up in rebounding battles. So I definitely think that we're proud for that. But um, we just got to continue to get better, continue to box out so we can win more um, board wars. What's the key to rebounding? Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, Kim. What's the key to rebounding against a team that runs a front court that large? You really just have to box them out. Like there's no other way. A lot of times we'll just try to jump with them, and that's never gonna work against someone six, seven, six, five. So we definitely uh, we worked on boxing out. We we haven't been a great boxing out or rebounding team. So that's definitely one of our focuses. Um, it's been a focus, and I think that we really keyed on all that today and focused on that. DJ. Yeah, Kate, um, can you comment on your roomie here, um, on Sam and, and how important she is on both ends, both ends of the court during the game? So, you know, in this game, she, she took a charge at one point. Um, she got a couple steals and a block. I mean, you know, and then back-to-back -back threes. I mean, Sam just – she's like, I guess what you call a stat stuffer. She always gets so many things. She even has stuff that you can't see on a stat sheet. She just works so hard. She runs the floor. Um, she can play the four, she can play the five, she can play the one, the two, the three. She can play all the positions. She knows all the plays for every position. So, I mean, she's really just, she's great at just knowing everything. And she's really, she has a high IQ. So she, she can really help out with that. So, I mean, I think she's great. Um, there are not a lot of people that want to take charges. She took a charge in some post player which I mean no one really wants to do that so I mean it just shows her heart her intensity and how she wants to win anything else all right thanks can Kate. I say one thing Adam yeah go ahead sorry oh, go ahead. <laughs> my, <We're> just, <laughs> my grandpa watches these and it's his 84th birthday so I just want to say happy birthday grandpa happy birthday gramps <laughs> okay thank you everybody <laughs>